Nash is going to show us how to find the missing factors and products for number seven. So um, what we need to look at for number seven is we need to look at the factors that are outlining the products inside of that box. Now, if we look here, we find that there is four times y equals 12. So if we head over here to our multiplication chart, we can see that we found four. Now we go over until we find 12. So we find out and we go up to three. So we know that the first factor that's missing would be a three. Now we need to, um, now we can find out the second factor that is missing. Now we know that we have found six right here. So what, um, what we can do is we go over to the three, because um, three is the factor that we're gonna be using. We're gonna go all the way over to the six, and we're gonna move up to the two. So that tells me that this is two. Now, if we look here at this factor, we see four. So we're gonna move over to the four. Now we see that it is two. So what we would do, is um, what we do is we go to four and go over two. Um, when you go over two, you um, arrive at eight, so eight. Why are eight. we going over to two? What are you trying to solve? Um, we're trying to solve four times two. Very good. And we know that four times two would equal eight. Um, now that we've done that, what we can do now is we can move on to the factor 9 and 4. So if we go over to 4, we can move all the way over to 9, or we can go to 9 and move over 4. Now, we would get 36 because um, 9 times 4, or 4 times 9, would be 6. Um, now that we have that, we can find um, the rest of the um, factors. So if we look here, we can find three times three. So if we go over to the three, we go all the way over to three, we find the number nine. So if we look at this, we find it nine. So what do we call the nine? The nine is the what? The nine is the product of three times three. Very good. So now, if we um, look here at the nines column, um, we actually um, still have the three there. So we can do three times nine. Three times nine equals 27. So we know that this number right here would be 27. Very good. Thank you, Nash, for showing us how to fill in a lot of the spaces for finding the missing factors and products.